The grinder sitting in second place. There's the prize money. The winner tonight is going to take home about $1.2 million. And if you noticed, there's about a million dollars difference between the guy that wins this tournament and the guy that goes out in sixth place. So big money on the line here. All right, action has started. A quick fold by Nick Schulman and Trevor Pope. And now it's around to the businessman, Philippe Cartorza from Paris, France. They call him the hammer. He's 49 years old and he has raised with ace nine. Lone amateur at the table, gonna try to fight it out against these top pros. Michael the grinder out. And now it's on to the German, Marvin Rettenmeyer. On Marvin in the small he's dressed for a snowstorm with a little happy scarf. <laughs> and he's going to fold his hand. Now it's on Steve O'Dwyer, poker pro out of Ireland. He goes away. Well, there you go. Philippe Cartosa taking down pot number one. He's got quite a rooting section here. They're all decked out in his own T-shirts. They have come to support their man, the French, here in force. Gosh, he's only been playing for three years. Just amazing. He takes our first pot tonight. Action on the grinder, quick fold by him. Now the German, Rettenmeyer, looks at a queen 10. He is the chip leader. He's only 25 years old. And look at this, he is going to raise. Yeah, when you have as big a chip lead as he does, you're gonna raise and put pressure on him with these kind of hands for sure. He's at 125, Steve O'Dwyer out. Nick Schulman, WPT champion, has a pair of sixes. Now, this is one player at the table that Mad Marvin will not be able to intimidate. Oh, and there you see Nick Schulman moving all in over the top. All you can eat, as they used to say back in the old world of poker. Pope out, the businessman. This has a king eight offsuit, certainly not going to call. He will not. Now back on the German. He also folds. So Nick Schulman. Terrific player, there's his rail. Some of the best pool players in the world sitting right there, I might add, including WPT champion John Hennigan. Nick Schumann, amazing pool player himself, but phenomenal poker player. Well, I've definitely grown up in the poker scene. It's a five and He's five. Done it! Nick Schumann, at 21 years young, has captured the World Poker Finals Championship. I have won a WPT title ages ago, uh, seven years ago, I think. So, you know, maybe it comes in sevens, they say. <laughs> you know, Nick, he's been around for such a long time and been beating the highest stakes games in tournaments and cash for such a long time. Poker's evolved and it's gotten a lot tougher, but it's also made me reach levels that I probably never would have reached otherwise. A lot of young players, they come in, they're using new things. And I learn from that and I try to add it to my own game. My goal is to always try to be competitive. Nick Schulman, 27 years old. Spent a lot of time in New York. Plays in the biggest cash games in the world, and he's playing good tonight. This guy is phenomenal. He is a star in the poker world, no doubt about it. And a cool cucumber at the table. Yeah, he is tough. He folds his hand now. Trevor Pope from Wisconsin, 25 years old. And now in the background, you see his friend who's, who's dressed up like a pope. Around at the Royal Flesh Girl Social Bar, <laughs> a man dressed as a pope, oh. rooting Trevor Pope on here tonight. And he's going to raise with a queen 10, makes it 135 to go. Philippe's out, and now it's around to the grinder from Florida. Used to be the hottest player on the circuit, of course. He's got the family, he's got the wife here, he's got six four hearts. Grinder loves these kind of hands. Loves it. That's why people love the grinder. Loves to play these kind of hands and any other two cards. For them. All right, he is called now the German chip leader with a six, five of spades. He likes to fold the Irishman. Steve out. So two-way action, Mike, between the Pope and the grinder. Here's the flop. And yeah, flop comes king, four, three. Continuation bet coming up here, as you can see. By Trevor Pope. Yep. The Pope has bet 125. The grinder picked up a piece of that. He's gonna make the call. The grinder has second pair here. He's got the two fours. All right, to the turn we go. Well, an ace comes off. Obviously no help to either player, but Trevor Pope was gonna try to represent that he might have an ace in his hand here. He is gonna bet yet again. This is a very good bet by Trevor Pope here. 230,000. He's only been playing for a few years. And he's putting the heat on the grinder. Well, the grinder was hoping he had ace, queen, ace, jack, something like that, where his fours were the best hand. 
But when the guy bets again on the turn, he's got to let it go. Just a very good bet by Trevor. Just getting started here at Bellagio. Six players remain, and the German Marvin Rettenmeyer is out in front with over six million. Everybody else has okay chips. The blinds are 30 and 60 to Steve O'Dwyer, the Irishman. He's got a King Jack. Steve's a poker pro, 30 years old, and it looks like he's getting out raising chips. Yes, he is, Mike. Actually, the son of a military man. Graduated from East Carolina and went over to Ireland to move to Dublin. Play online poker. What did you start the day with? Two million. Now look at this. Nick is out, but Trevor the Pope, a player that's only been playing a few years, has a pair of tens. Come on. Just not fooling around with them, moving all in with the two tens. The Parisian goes out. So does Grinder, the German now. Marvin Brettenmeyer looking at a queen seven. He won't play that. Back on the Irishman. Steve O'Dwyer won't play. The Pope is going to forgive his opponents. He says, I don't mind you folding. I needed the cash. Break it in. Trevor Pope's fans are all wearing the sunglasses. He's actually got a Pope costume look like man sitting over there with the Royal Flush Girls. Yeah. It's not really a Pope outfit. I think it's a Cardinal outfit. Close enough. Doesn't the Pope wear white? <laughs> what do we know? We've been in poker <laughs> games too long. All right, back to this hand. Nick Schulman, one of the finest young players in the world today from New York. Looks down at a queen 10. He's raised, makes it 125 to go. The Pope out. The businessman out. The grinder not going to play. And the mad Marvin. He's got a big hand. Ace, queen. Marvin Rettenmeyer, 25 years old. He's been traveling the poker circuit for a couple of years. And he's not going to pop it, just calling. Now, Steve O'Dwyer. He folds. So we've got ace queen up against Nick Schulman's queen 10. Wow, Schulman picking up the tens just like that. Nice flop for Nick Schulman. Action on Marvin. A quick check by him. Back to Nick. What a place to be, because it looks like a continuation automatic bet, but when you pick up tens with a nice queen kicker, it's a great disguise. He bets 160. Look at this. Mad Marvin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking to get fancy here with a raise. Makes it 425. Just suspecting Schulman made a continuation bet with nothing, but we know more. I think Nick is going to stand for that, since he's flopped top pair here. Whoa. And he's just going to come right over the top for it all. This guy's got plenty of heart. Don't worry about that. Moves in. Marvin moves out. Nick Schulman taking down that pot. Life on the poker tournament circuit has both tremendous highs and lows. This season, we've been following seven charismatic young pros as they've set out to make a name for themselves, as we see in this edition of Ones to Watch. I love to grind, I'm a sick degenerate. I made it to the final table. I'm a ones to watch, so that should be interesting. No, no, no. I think this year is my year. Uh, I will win one eventually. Was to watch. My favorite moments so far on the World Poker Tour season 10. Favorite moments. Favorite moments. Without a doubt, Bellagio Five Diamond, because that's the only stop I've had success at. One of my favorite moments this season definitely has to be when I hit the Royal Flush, day one of the Hard Rock 10K. And people was like, <gasps> and they're like, oh my gosh, it was very exciting. <laughs> well, I'm kind of biased, you know. My favorite part of the season was definitely getting second in LAPC. It was a, it was a fun run, I had a lot of friends there on the rail, and uh, just a great experience making my first WPT final table. Oh, Being at the top of the ones to watch leaderboard is, is a great honor, and you know we had a really talented group of people. I knew it was going to be a competitive year, and very happy to finish on top. I think I have a very bright future in poker. Gotten a lot of experience this season on the WPT. I think I have good things in store. I still want it. I still have that drive, and I still try to play good poker. And I still beat myself up every time I don't, and I think that's 
part of what makes me a good player. You know, one minute I'm looking at all the World Poker Tour stops for next season and thinking, oh, I want to go there, I want to go there. And then, you know, in the next minute I'm like, I kind of want to take a break. You know, something totally outside of poker sounds kind of refreshing and nice at this point. We're just going to continue to play high buy-in tournaments. As long as I feel like I'm an elite player, I'll just try to rack up the winnings. For me, I was a once to watch this season. And if you were watching closely, you saw that I just got crushed. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up and continue. I definitely want to pursue commentating. If those things work out, that'll be great as well. See any gold bracelets on my wrist? See any WPT titles in my trophy case? No. Good game. I have to keep working hard until the trophy case starts to fill up. I have my worries and woes. The game is still going where it stops. Nobody knows. The season 10 ones to watch have had a successful season. Matt Marafiotti cashed in three events, but it's David Doc Sands who finished the season on top of the ones to watch leaderboard thanks to a second place finish at the LAPC. We thank the ones to watch for letting the WPG cameras peek into their lives and we wish them continued success in their careers. We will be watching. Action's ready to resume here at Bellagio, so let's get back down to the felds. Well, congratulations to Doc Sands for beating out all the rest of the ones to watch in season 10. All right, back to the action. A couple folds around to Nick Schulman. And he also won't play this hand into Trevor Pope from Wisconsin, 25 years old, now living in Vegas. He folds, and now the businessman from France with a so-called tight image, and so far he has played pretty tight. Man, this guy has lived on a short stack. When we were on the money bubble with 19 players left, the guy just had five big blinds left, yet he managed to survive and get all the way down to this final table. Incredible. He's got ace-jack this time. He's going to make it 130 to go. Now the grinder squeezes a 10-3 of diamonds. Mike Mizraki. Two-time WPT champion. Uh oh, what is he up to here? Yeah, certainly he's one of the most creative players in poker. And that's a polite way of saying he likes to play a lot of pots and put a lot of pressure on his opponents. And there you see him re-raising here with just a 10-3. He is making a move. Back on Philippe, and he says, I don't care. Oh, he says, Tappy. I spit on your raise. He's all in. <laughs> he's he's obviously off. seen some tape of the grinder. Oh, a million. Total discomfort of the grinder. Well, Grinder just posturing here now. Zero chance he's calling another 900,000 here with this hand. He's saying back in the day this used to work. <laughs> <laughs> Even amateurs outplay me now. What is going on here? It's just, oh, boy. Game's getting tough. And he's got to fold the hand. Philippe is going to take it. The hammer. Philippe's real bird's going crazy. Yeah. Oh, and here it comes, Vince. And there it is. Boom goes the hammer. Oh, this is great. experience. Great if you like to play poker, but also great if you just like to lay out by the pool. It certainly is. And right now you see the German. Marvin Rettenmeyer is the chip leader, but Nick Schulman, a WPT champion, is now in second chip position. He's got an ace eight this time. He likes to fold. Trevor Pope now also folding. Now the businessman Philippe Cortosa from Paris peeks at a king queen. And he is going to raise, makes it 130 to go. Open the pot to 130, Over to the grinder, you can see he reluctantly folds. folds. Yep, and now Marvin Rettenmeyer with a nothing hand, also folding. Down fold. to Steve O'Dwyer. Steve graduated from East Carolina, moved to Dublin, gained citizenship there. He's done very well over there playing poker. She finished second at a non-televised WPT event in Venice earlier this year. Okay, so the guy's on a roll. He's going to call with King-9, so King-Queen up against King-9. The flop comes up ace by four. No help to either player. Action on, Steve. And he checks. And Philippe, he's only been playing poker for three years. Just incredible. And he's played impeccably so far tonight. He's going to make the bet. Continuation bet, 240, it looks like. Nice bet by the Frenchman. He's going to take down this pot. So the lone businessman doing very well, and his fans, the hammer. I love those fans of his. This is a great group of people, I tell you. And they got the T-shirts matching, saying short stack master. Well, he has proven that to be the case this week. Seemingly every day, he ends the day on the short stack, on the money bubble. 
He only had five big blinds left, yet here he is at the final table, fighting it up for this title. All right, three quick folds around to Nick Schulman. He's got the button. He's got a 9-10 of clubs. Suited connector. Used to be the youngest player that ever won a WPT event at 21 years old. Now one at Foxwoods. He likes to fold. With position, now Trevor Pope with an ace eight. In the small blind, he's saying, can I steal this businessman's money right now with the raise? Not just gonna call, he is going to raise, makes it 145. Interestingly enough, Philippe with a decent hand as well, a seven. Sometimes you just feel like the guy's trying to steal your money. I wish saw Philippe, four bet the grinder all in a minute ago with ace jack. Look at this, back over the top by Philippe with an a seven. He's made it 325. The hammer putting it down. And now the Pope looking at him. Yep, staring him down. Tough decision here when you have an ace eight offsuit here. I think he's just saying to himself, how do I get a tan like that? You know, against a pro player, good chance Trevor Pope might play this hand, but against an amateur player, they re-raise, you give them credit for a strong hand. He may just lay it down, Vince, not wow. get involved. He's going to fold it. What a play by the Frenchman. He is not intimidated by these pros at this table. And boom goes the hammer again. Every time I push my stack, I want to win. Before the bubble was a very short stack, I have five big men. And uh, I double for the first hand, and that saved me. One yes. out, one out. Yes. You know, poker, you never know. You can have one chip, uh, one shell, like they say. I never spew the, the chips, and I, I always try to find, try to take the good decision, and try to survive, even if I'm still stuck. Yes. Well, he is impressive right now. He is taking it to the pros. Well, a lot of work to be done if the Frenchman wants to take the title back home overseas. Well, the Andes have gone up to 10,000 blinds of 40 and 80. Here we go. Action on Marvin, and Marvin, still the chip lead is gonna fold. Steve O'Dwyer also out. Over to the tough pro, Nick Schulman going for his second WPT title tonight. Uh, he won't play that, now it's into Trevor Pope. Trevor with the button and an ace three. And he's gonna um. get over, whoa, he's gonna push all in. Philippe now with one Oh, no, I'll take that back. Two jacks. Morning. And he's gone all in also. Over the top, like he should. Grinder out. <laughs> oh, and the Pope is saying, forgive me, I have sinned. Well, he said I have to draw out to win. He's right about that. I have pushed with ace high. And unfortunately for him, the grinder folded in an ace. So his outs are limited, as you can see by the percentages there. Believe about a three to one favor to win this pot and eliminate the Pope. Can he knock the Pope man out? Oh, boy. Well, we got the Pope over there sweating and praying. Just boom right in the flop. We got the hammer people. Know their man's out in front with the two jacks. Ace, two, nine. Everybody on their feet. Here's the flop. Here it comes. That's good. Well, the flop comes up. Queen, five, deuce. An inside straight draw there for Trevor Pope. Six o'clock. He needs an ace sweat. or a four. <laughs> Just four right at a time. Could also hit two running clubs to win the pot, but... Looking for an ace or a four. Philippe Jack's out in front. Oh, oh boy. It is not over, though. No. It's the jack of clubs. So Philippe has three jacks. Trevor Pope needs to catch a four or a club. That's not the queen of clubs. Oh, man. The Pope has a prayer. Down to the river we go. Well, Philippe can't even look. He's just pacing around nervously. To say our third is. He pumps his fist. The hammer comes down. It's high fives all around for the Frenchman as he eliminates Trevor Pope from his tournament. Well, the Pope says, holy cow, I'm out of here by a businessman. Oh, and that was 6.3 million in chips. Nick Schumann in second place. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight taking home about 1.2 million and getting his name engraved 
on the coveted WPT Champions Cup. All right, and he's at 10,000. Bly's a 40 and 80,000. Let's go to the grinder. A quick fold by him. And now the chip leader from Germany, Marvin Rettenmeyer, has a pair of deuces. And he's getting out raising chips. He's got that scarf like he's watched too many holiday movies. And he's going to raise. Makes it 165,000 to go. But look at the Steve behind him with a pair of aces. Owen. The Irishman goes all in with the weapons of mass destruction. Well, Steve O'Dwyer, tough pro. Ran really good the last year or so. Graduated from East Carolina, now lives in Dublin, Ireland. Got Irish citizenship. Tearing up the European circuit. Right now he's got two aces and is hoping somebody comes in the pot. No one so far. Marvin thinking this out. He's got deuces. Usually you don't want to call off with a little pair. He doesn't want to give another 855 down to this tough player, Steve O'Dwyer. Oh, that's right. Steve O'Dwyer going to win the pot for the Irishman. Oh, he got a little lucky charms oh. there. <laughs> he rakes in the chips. Quite an international table we've got here tonight. The Frenchman, the German. O'Dwyer now living in Dublin, Ireland. Right now it's on the Parisian Philippe Cartorza. Yeah, he's the lone amateur at this table fighting it out against four really tough pro players. Well, Couturza has folded, and now the grinder with the pair of deuces. Gonna raise to 200,000 to go. Into Mad Marvin. He has a nothing hand, 8-3, he ejects that. And now Steve O'Dwyer, also folding. Just, start the hand with Mike? Now it's on Nick Schulman, and look at this, here, he's got a mid-pair, pair of sevens. Nick Schulman, phenomenal poker player. A good all-around player, plays all games extremely well and has been very successful in the highest stakes cash games. Won a WPT event when he was 21 years old. He was the youngest player ever at that time to win one. And he's just gonna call this, Mike. Wow, a deuce just like that, three of a kind for the grinder. King a deuce, a dream flop for the grinder. Schumann gonna check here. Oh, it's so great when you have a little pair and you flop a set. And the grinder reaching for chips. I hope he's going to stick out a bet of 120,000. Well, Nick's going to figure out now, does he really have a hand or is he just making the normal continuation bet here with something like ace-10, ace-jack? Nick's got the mid-pair, but the grinder with a set. Well, mid-pair is the toughest hand to play in no limit hold'em. Well, he's gonna, here's the reason why. What do you do now? He's going to donate a little bit, go into the turn, jack of hearts. No help for Nick. Nick will check again. The grinder now, 31 years old. A big opportunity here. Do you chase him away with a bet? 410. Well, he bets 410, and Nick runs away. Smartly done. The grinder. Going for his third WPT title tonight. That would time with Carlos Mortensen and Gus Hansen as the winningest player in WPT history. I love playing poker. I love the roller coaster rides, I love the action. The Grinder is one of the toughest players in the world. It's all about his image and presence at the table. Definitely very aggressive. He doesn't mind putting the chips in the middle. Had a tremendous amount of success in the World Poker Tour and other poker events for a long time. I've won two World Poker Tour titles. When you get all these championships, you win all this, I just, I look at it as work, just play my game, just stay focused, and just do what I do best, grind. Well, what he does best is fire at those pots, I can tell you that. He plays a lot of hands, has a great feel for the game, and his success over the last five, six years has been incredible. Well, look at this. Picking up a pair of tens right now, makes it 200,000. Look, oh, Marvin's got a big hand here. Ace, king of diamonds. Well, it's a premium hand, no doubt about it, especially against a player like the grinder who could have anything. Marvin with big slick. Gonna pop it up. Goes to 485. Now, look at this. The Irishman has an ace, king as well. Not suited, of course. Well, O'Dwyer's on the short stack here. We just want to go ahead and make a stand. Whoa. And he's moving all in here. Yes, he is going to push it with the ace king. And look at this, the grinder. He's going back over the top with the tens. He's going all in also. Yeah. And now Mad Marvin, what's he going to do? He has a big decision now. Well, just incredible. The action in this pot. Certainly a key moment in this tournament. Now it's on Marvin. 
Ace, King of Diamonds, two guys back over the top, all in, all in. Well, obviously, as both well players well covered, for nine, gamble for here and win a monster pot. Tie this. Well, they call him mad, Marvin. For nine. Will he play insanely here? Uh, it appears like he will. He is making the call. So Steve O'Dwyer, the American that went to Ireland, he needs a little luck right here. Otherwise, he'll be out of this tournament. He needs a lot of luck to win this spot. He's going to have to make a flush to win it. Very unlikely. And it's a dream scenario for the grinder as both opponents have the same hand. And ace king. And because of that, the grinder about a 60% favorite to win this pot. Oh, I can see diamonds everywhere. Oh, my God. Everybody on their feet here. What a moment this is in the Season 10 WPT World Championship. And here comes the flop. It's come Jack, 9-3. So far, so good for the grinder. Yeah, pretty safe for Michael Mizraki, the grinder. He's tens out in front right now. Well, there's his two brothers over there sweating him in. Let's see the turn. Here comes the turn card for spades. The grinder has to dodge one more card, the river card, and ace or a king. If he does so, he just said quick, becomes our chip leader. Well, the grinder could knock out the Irishman. His hand holds up. There's the river card. It's a deuce. The grinder has done it. He has won a monster pot here. Steve O'Dwyer was eliminated in fifth place. We're down to four players. And the grinder going for his third WPT title is in great shape to the WPT Champions Cup. That is true. Right now, the Andy Stan 10,000 blinds are 50 and 100. To the felt we go. The Frenchman with a quick fold. Now, Michael the grinder, who is the chip leader at this point, peeks down at a three deuce of hearts. He's got the button, he's got momentum. Grinder likes to play so many hands when he's at the table. Here's one that most guys just might muck automatically, but the grinder just gonna raise it up here with a little three deuce. He's got guts because he's got talent. He'd do that with nothing hands, play a lot of hands. Mad Marvin going away. Now Nick Schulman, who has an ace three. Now this is not the kind of hand that you're fond of when a guy raises in front of you. But Nick is playing the player. He's not necessarily playing the hand here. He knows the grinder can raise with any two cards. And here comes the flop. Ace, queen, seven with two clubs. Nick Schulman out in front with the two aces, and he checks. Will the grinder make the automatic continuation bet? Just hoping against hope that your opponent didn't hit. Yes. Well, he has to to win the pot because he has the worst possible hand right now. 225 into Schulman. And Nick going to make the call here with the top pair. A little gentle okey-dokey call. You hate that when you're betting with nothing, as the grinder just did. Six of spades right there on the turn. Nick Schulman out in front with the aces. But it's a weak ace, as we say. Going to check it again. Now the grinder. Will he fire another shell at this pot? Well, he's the grinder. Of course he's going to fire again. He's the Floridian from Miami. Tough, tough player. He's saying maybe Nick has second pair. I can chase him away, but no. Better 460,000 into Schulman. I bet sometimes you get going downhill and you just can't slow down. That's the case with the grinder here, but Nick's got a tough decision. And look at this. He is moving all in with this weak ace hand. Oh, and he's saying, I'm from New York. Forget about it. It's all going in. Well, grinder was hoping he had something like two queens and would get away from the hand. <laughs> grinder has to fold his hand. You can show the ace four hearts. All right. You're in the ballpark. No sense of lying, right? That is a great read by the grinder because Nick had an ace three there. What good poker there by Nick Schulman. Well, you know, Mike, we keep reminiscing about season 10, how great it is, and it has been. But how about all the club WPT VIP members that have won seats into tournaments all season long? Yeah, you're right, Vince. It's been so great to see these players parlay their entry into real money winnings out here on the World Poker Tour. 
Remember at the Bay 101 Shooting Star Club, WPT VIP member John Davies scored $5,000 for knocking out Bounty and WPT champion Joe Tehan. Yeah, then VIP member Butch Velour made a deep run at the Seminole Hard Rock Showdown, finishing in 20th place and taking home over $25,000. And how about Club WPT VIP member Artie Rodriguez? He made a dream come true when he made it all the way to the final table at Jacksonville. Anybody can win. Not to say that I'm just anybody, but uh, I'm just a regular guy, and I'm here playing with the big boys and uh, trying to show them a few things. So. Well, that is the great thing about ClubWPT.com. For just $19.95 a month, that's nothing. Right? You get to play all the poker you want. You have your chance of winning a piece of the $100,000 they're given away in cash and prizes every month. Plus, you can win your way into a World Poker Tour event. Sign up now for a free two-week trial. Check it out. See how you like it. ClubWPT.com. Never lose a dime playing poker. Guaranteed. All right. Back to the table we go. Michael the Grinder Mizraki on a big comeback here tonight on the WPT. He's our chip leader with over $5 million. Let's go to the felt. Our former chip leader from Germany, Marvin Rettenmeyer, is first to play. He's got a pair of fives. Yeah, and Marvin came to this final table with a huge chip lead. Let's see what mad Marvin does. He's now sitting in second place, but he's going to raise it up here with the speed limit hand, the two fives. It's just 205,000 to go. Schulman and the Frenchman, Philippe, go away. And now it's around to the grinder who has an interesting-looking ace, three of diamonds. He's got the same hand Nick Schumann just beat him with an ace, three, and he's made the call. And he's flopped two diamonds. It's come nine, eight, seven with two diamonds. The nut flush draw for the grinder. Sure, his plan is to check raise all in right here. And the grinder is going to check into the German, who also checks behind him, but oh. then catches the straight oh. as a six of heart appears. What a check by Mad Marvin right there. Had he bet that grinder would have come over the top of the nut flush draw. Ms. Rocky coming out with the bet of 300,000 with the flush draw. Now, Mad Marvin knows that the grinder has to have a 10 in his hand for him to be beat right now. But he has called it. And now the board pairs nine, so another scare card for Mad Marvin. And that now a full house is possible, as well as the 10 high straight. Ms. Rocky going to check down. Nothing appeared for him. Man, Marvin figures his straight is the best hand right now after the grinder checked. So he's going to make a wager. Yep. Wants a little value, perhaps 365000 And the grinder with absolutely nothing at this point. Hand just didn't materialize, but wow, he's getting chips out. He has raised this. One million. He makes it a million. Oh. Unbelievable. And what pressure on Mad Marvin right now. Yes, he's got a straight, but his opponent has check raised him on the river when there's a pair out there and a bigger straight possibility. And Mad Marvin trying to figure it out. He said, would the guy really raise me back here if he just had a 10 in his hand? I don't know. Meaning to Mad Marvin, the guy's going to have to have a full house or he's just bluffing. You've got to decide which one of those things it is. He is going to make the call wow. with the nine eye straight. And folks, let me tell you, this is a very tough call to make. What a call by Mad Marvin. And he is going to win this pot and regain the chip lead. That is excellent poker by the madman as the German flag gets waved at Bellagio. Four players remain. Mad Marvin out in front as the chip leader. Players remain the German Mad Marvin out in front with 6.7 million in chips. And the Frenchman, Philippe Cartorza is now the short stack at the table. First action goes to Marvin as he quickly folds. And Nick Schulman picking up a pair of fives. Yeah, he's now got the speed limit hand. He's gonna raise it. 215,000 to go. Philippe going out. Michael the grinder, this time with an ace eight. Yeah, the grinder likes to see flops. We know that, so he makes the call. And we're going to have a flop. And the flop comes up. Queen, a five. Look at this. A set for Nick Schulman, just like that. Three fives. Grinder's got middle pair with top kicker and checks. Schulman flopping a set. Happy days are here again. He's going to bet him. Not going to play it sneaky. Come right out with a bet of 240,000. Yeah, there you can see the anguished look on the grinder's face hard to throw down middle pair with top kicker when the guy 
would make a continuation bet most all the time. So the grinder does make the call. Yeah, investing deeper into trouble. Jack of clubs on the turn. Three clubs out there now. And now the grinder looks like he's going to lead out here. Make what we call a blocking bet here. Yep, 350,000. Possible flush, possible straight out there. Nick does have three fives, obviously going to make the call here, but it does slow him down, as you can see. All right, going to the last card. It's a nine of diamonds. More trouble there, potentially. You know, Grinder did not hit. No, Grinder just got two eights. He knows once he's called on the turn, he's beat. The two eights are no good. And he has checked it, and Shulman now. Well, Shulman was, just afraid yeah. his opponent hey, could sir. have a straighter or flush and have him beat. Didn't think he could get paid off otherwise, and he's probably right about that. Going to take down the pot, though, with the three fives. Yep. Nick Shulman, 27 years old, spends a lot of time in New York, L.A., Las Vegas. He's a business owner. And there you see the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. Now, there are two of the best poker players in the world sitting there, too. Eugene Ketchaloff, WPT champion, and Vanessa Selbst, who many say is the best woman player in the world, and I say she's one of the top players in the world, man or woman, Vanessa Selbst. Yeah, she is tough. Okay, Andy's are going up to 20,000, blind 60 and 120, and there's a raise by Nick Schumann with ace-10, and now it's on the Frenchman, Philippe, who picks up two queens. No limit. And he's going all in with them like he should. Well, he has gone all in with them. Grinder looks down at an ace deuce, gets out of their way, as does Marvin. Back on Nick Schulman. Now you gotta think to yourself, wait a second. The Frenchman is tighter than Rosie O'Donnell's dried up wetsuit. Should I call with his ace 10? Well, I think you get away from this hand, Vince. You'd only be in a race if the guy had two nines or two eights. Any other hand he's got is gonna have you beat. This is not the kind of guy gonna raise with King Queen or King Jack. No, he has only shown superior cards tonight when he plays. But it is tempting. Get rid of the Frenchman if he should get lucky. Hammer time. It's hammer time. He wants the Frenchman to talk. It's hammer time. I don't know. I don't know. He's got the ladies, the queens. Oh, Nick Schumann makes that call Whoa. for another 1.3 million. I'm surprised. He's shaking his head now. I shouldn't have called that. He normally doesn't make those kind of mistakes, but it might not be a mistake. He could end up busting the Frenchman. Let's see what happens. The hammer rail birds loving this moment. The hammer looking to put a bonk in the back of the head of the WPT champion, Nick Schulman. Here, Queens up against Ace-10. Here we go. Oh! Four Queens for the Frenchman. Even Nick Schulman smiling at that. Four of a kind on the flop. Nick Schumann draws completely dead and made an ace high straight, Vince. Nick made the ace high straight. Right in the quad, Queens. Meyer well out in front with 7.4 million. The other players all have between 2.2 and 2.8 million. All right, four handed poker continues. And it's on the man from Paris, France, Philippe Cartorza. He's got King Queen. Yep, he's the lone amateur at the table fighting these three tough pros, and I mean tough with a capital T. He makes it 260 into the grinder. Who's going to fold it? Now, man, Marvin with Jack-5 also going away. Nick Schulman now going to pick up a pair of nines. And he's got the mid-pair hand, but he also recognizes he's up against the tightest player at the table. He just got burned a minute ago, remember, with the ace-10 which I felt was a mistake for him to put another 1.3 million in that pot against this guy. So it's got to be on his mind, but not too much. He's moving all in here. Yeah, he's going to put the pressure on Philippe, a non-professional who's only been playing poker for three years, but he's played really well so far, and he gets away from this hand. Yeah, Philippe goes out, so the pool player straight in right there with the all-in bet to take it down. There you see Scott Seaver in the house watching this final table. He won this tournament one year ago. Scott, highly educated, well-respected poker player. Only which is he was back here defending his title at this final table. All right, the play goes to Marvin. This time, horrible hand of Jack three, but he doesn't care. He's going to make a 250 to go. Schulman out. And Philippe out, but the grinder, he's what we call a defender. He doesn't like to give up his big blind. Here he's got King Jack. Makes the call. Yep, he likes his hand. Gonna see a flop here. 
Let's flop the ace high straight draw as it comes ace queen nine. Neither player has a pair. Grinder gonna check. And Marvin. Gonna make a continuation bet here, looks like. Indeed he is. Yeah, he is gonna make a bet of 230,000. And the grinder makes the call here. Turn card seven of hearts helps neither player. Grinder will check again. And Mad Marvin checking as well. Seven on the river, pairs the board. Neither player has a pair. Grinder has the best hand, as you can see. 250. And he's gonna bet. I'm not sure if he's betting for value, for a blocking bet, to try to get his opponent off like two threes or two fours, for example. Well, Whatever it is, he takes down the pot. Yeah. What's about to turn? It works out. Like some people think top players do have a sense of humor at times. Oh, they do. Great characters here on the World Poker Tour. And as you can see right now, the chip leader from Germany, Marvin Rettenmeyer, out in front with 6.7 million in chips. To Philippe, he quickly folds a jack-10 of spades. Yeah. Kind of surprising. And the grinder got the two snowmen, the two eights. And obviously, he is going to play this hand. Yep, he's going to make it 250,000 into Mad Marvin, who is going to peek down at a pair of fives. I better be a little careful here. He's been raised already. Marvin. Wow. Yeah. Throw caution to the wind. He's moved all in with the two fives. Nick Schulman going out. Back to the grinder, and what a decision he has. Now, the grinder is a gambler, folks. He likes to gamble for big pots. This is his shot where he could take the chip lead. If he played this hand and wins it. 90% sure that that's him. And you can see he wants to play it. We have two outs. He's looking around the stack sizes. Money jumps substantially from here, from fourth to third to second to first. Normally, Grinder thinks about nothing but the win, but tough decision for the Grinder here. Well, it is pretty solid pair of eights. This would be a great call. Well, there's two brothers staring intently. The Grinder knows his tournament life on the line. If he calls and loses this pot, he'd be out of here in fourth place. Can Mad Marvin get away with this? I know your exact hand, too. Wow. He's got the grinder talking to himself. He's gambling. He desperately wants to win his third WPT title. He would have a great shot to do it if he could make this call, Vince. He's checking out everyone's chip stack, exactly where he is. I'll go for it all. Do you go for it all, grinder? Uh, usually he does. That's why he's won all his titles, because he's not afraid to gamble, take shots, and play big pots. Lucky Michelle. Oh, it's embarrassing. Mike, boy, he is going to make the wrong fold. God, wow. Pair. Very big pair. And Mad Marvin, happy to hear he said he laid down a big Shorter. pair. Yeah, Mad Shorter. Marvin gets away with it. Did not show the little pair. And Marvin desperately looking to put his name on the WPT Champions Cup. And Vince, the guy's got a great shot to do it. He does. And you know, he's a fun guy to watch. He's happy go lucky, a great talent. And he's winning here tonight. Action goes to Mad Marvin who looks down at a jack ten of clubs. Yes, I was at a special poker tournament in London at the Playboy Club, mm -hmm. and this guy was playing the guitar, serenaded the Playboy bunnies. It was fantastic. That is nice. All right, he likes his hand, makes it 250 to go. Nick out. And now the Frenchman, Philippe, also going out. It's up to the grinder, who has a pair of sixes. And he's just going to call it. So sixes for the grinder. And Marvin, Jack, 10 of clubs. And the flop comes up queen, 7-3. Four flush from Mad Marvin. Not only a four flush, the kind of hand that you're just not afraid to get your chips in there with. The grinder with the sixes is going to bet 225,000. Yeah, he leads right out and bets into the pre-flop raiser, something you don't see often. And Marvin just calling with the flush draw. That also a little surprising. You'd think he might raise with that hand. Now a nine comes off. <laughs> and this gives Mad Marvin an open in straight draw and a flush draw. Yeah, a lot of possibilities, but the grinder still with the sixes. 
Looks like he's going to stick out another bet. Yes. And lead out yet again. 420. Well, Mad Marvin's got the perfect semi bluff hand, as we say. Open in straight draw and a flush draw, meaning you raise here in this spot and you don't care if you get called or not normally. I'm all in. And he's done it. He's yep. put the pressure on the grinder right here for all his dough with the flush draw and the straight draw. And this is a disaster for the grinder. You got sixes. You don't even have a club. The guy comes back over the top. That is brutal. And he is squirming in his seat right now. What to do? Well, we saw Grinder lay down two eights a minute ago when he had the best hand against this guy. And just by looking at him, you, think, you just get the feeling he thinks he might have the best hand here with the two sixes. And he does. He does, but what pressure. He's getting yeah. put on him. He can't take that heat. And the Grinder has to fold the sixes. There is Mad Marvin's girlfriend, Leanne, waving the flag, rooting her man on. And Mad Marvin just continuing to increase his chip lead. Yeah, he is plunging ahead, well out in front now. He's starting to live up to his madman title. Players don't like to race for all their money. They think that they can win a lot more chips by slowly grinding it up, stealing blinds and ante. And I'm sure that thought came into the grinder's mind as he folded those two eights. All right, back to the action. At the WPT World Championship, a couple folds, and now it's on Mad Marvin, who has another mid-pair, pair of eights. Well, this is the battle of the blinds here. Mad Marvin in the small blind, got the big chip lead, so he's going to raise it. Yes, he does. He makes it 280 to go. Nick Schulman, though, with an ace-five. Well, he knows the big chip lead could be raising with any two cards here. He's picked up an ace-high. Uh-oh. And even uh -oh. though he's in second chip position, he is going with it. He's moved all in here. Yep. And a snap call by Mad Marvin. And Nick Schulman knows he's in trouble. Just that quickly. The guy going for a second WPT title tonight, Nick Schulman, could be out of here in fourth place. So if the two snowmen hold up for Mad Marvin, he'll be a substantial chip leader with three players left. Nick Schulman needs help to stay alive. Nick getting up from the table. Mad Marvin smiling, enjoying this moment. He would love yeah. to knock out this WPT champion, Nick Schulman. Here's the flop. King Jack Deuce. This is good for Mad Marvin. He's eight still out in front. Now well, people at home may be wondering why Nick moved all in there, but he's going to win that 80, 90 percent of the time by moving all in over the top. Well, Nick picks up a five there, pairs the fives on the turn. Most of the time, Mad Marvin not going to have anywhere near a good hand as two eights, but right now, must catch an ace or a five to win, or he's out of here in fourth place. Yes, he needs to suck out right here. Can Nick do it? The pool player on the verge of scratching on the eight ball. Here we go, Mike. It's a three. So Nick Schulman not going to get his second WPT title tonight. Goes out in fourth place. Back to New York.